Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak and I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight I'm really excited for this one because we're going to be checking out Tom Cruise in 2003's Tommy. The Last Samurai. Now, I have questions as to how Tom Cruise <laughs> becomes the last samurai, but you know what? Tom has never let me down, so I'm pretty sure he can do no wrong. I've got complete confidence that this is going to be a lot of fun. You know, I have no idea what the, I'm, what I have in store for me for this. <laughs> I just know I am definitely ready, willing, and able. In fact, I'm locked, cocked, <laughs> and ready to rock. <laughs> To watch no, the last no. samurai. Oh, he's ready uh, to go, folks. I, you know, I've seen bits and pieces of this movie over the years, and it just came out like almost twenty years ago. And it's been one of those movies where I've like, you know, you're flipping through the channels, which is I haven't had cable in like fifteen years. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Know? It's like just Netflix, so there's no more flipping through the channels. But back when I did have cable, you flip through the channels and you catch a few minutes of it, and you're like, eh. Why is Tom Last Samurai? Yeah. Tom, What's Tom, he doing? Tom I Cruise. I just don't get, get it. Get get back in your plane, dude. Like what? <laughs> samurai. Get in your plane or race it's car so, or motorcycle. Um, you know, it's yeah. I, I see on Amazon it's got five stars. A perfect mm -hmm. score. Perfect yeah. score. Um, generally speaking, with Tom Cruise, pretty much everything he does is uh, is a hit. Yeah. I mean, he's a guy who I, I think is very selective about the movies that he chooses to to partake in. And I got to imagine when he took this role, it's because he felt it would be a good role. Again, five stars on Amazon. I just, like I said, I just, I've only seen bits and pieces. But uh, now that uh, we're doing it for the channel, I'm here for, uh, I'm here for the long haul. So, <laughs> ready to get into it. All right. So now, without further ado, let's go. They say Japan was made by a sword. They say the old gods tipped a coral blade into the ocean. And when they pulled it out, those drops became the islands of Japan. I say Japan was made by a handful of brave men. Warriors willing to give their lives for what seems to have become a forgotten word, honor. Big in Japan, mm. honor. Well, a lot of the uh, Asian countries. Oh, there's the man. <laughs> So is that him as the tiger? America's leader in all forms of armament celebrates our nation's centennial by bringing you a true nation's American. centennial. So 1876. 1876. Winner of the Medal of Honor. Oh. He is late of the Seventh Cavalry in the triumphant campaign oh, against the, the asshole from Stop. Ghostbusters. From Die Hard. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Nate Aldrin. Yes. I Keep saw, it going, guys. Keep it going. I think I saw Billy Connolly in the audience. He's there. all sweaty. This is your last performance. You're fired. Now get out there. I um, wouldn't tell him he's fired before I asked yeah. him to get out there. <laughs> Just visibly <laughs> wasted. Oh. There's Billy. This, ladies and gents, is the gun that's winning the West. Surrounded by a swarm of... With nothing but this rifle. <laughs> Between oh, me that. and a certain and gruesome death. And if he'd have had his way, why this scalp of mine would be long gone. And there'd be a balder man standing before you today. <laughs> he's just amping it up. Cue card. Like those poor bastards out there. Oh, now he's... Oh, body uh, strip bear. Yeah, now he's going off. Yeah, he's Mutilated. going on. Mutilated. Yeah, actual memory. That's yeah, rot, son. This... Ladies and gentlemen, the 73 lever action. Uh, son, have you ever seen that? That thing was accurate that? to 400 yards. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? My thanks on behalf of those who died. Mr. McCabe here will take your orders. God bless you all. Well, that uh, went well. Yeah, I would was, say, you yeah. know, overall, that uh, just that like guy. When, just like Captain America when he was with the. <laughs> oh, this Sit guy! Down, he was just in Divergent. He was the dad. If we play our cards right, 
The Emperor grants oh, the U.S. exclusive rights to supply arms. That's what they want. Oh, they want him to train the armies. Yep. Arms supply. We'll have an agreement with uh, Winchester Company. For the Winchester Company, bring you $25 a week. We will pay you $400 a month. Oh, uh, so, snap. so times uh, carry the six. That's Five. Cool. For each. 500 when we get the job done. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how it is here. <laughs> Cheap traders. Who will we be training your boys to fight? His name is Katsumoto Moritsu. He's samurai. Samurai. Mr. Omura is familiar with our experiences dealing with renegade. He's even read your book. <laughs> oh my god. Tom's gonna lose it. What is he on the couch at Oprah again? His excuse. <laughs> the couch is funny. Ah! <laughs> Jumps up. He said the Use <laughs> necessities. <laughs> necessities. We contacted you because you are Captain Arlgren's spare year officer. He'll do it. I just need a minute. You know, I suppose they're still, you know, having like the samurais and whatnot over in Japan. They're probably bringing them in with firearms and stuff. Yeah, trying and, to update them. Yeah. So what do you say we put the past behind us? Do you want me to kill Japos? I'm not asking you to kill anybody. You want me to kill the enemies at Japos? Rebs or Sioux or Cheyenne. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. But keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. Oh, Ooh. shit. That's his commanding officer? Oh. Wow. Yeah, something I think uh, went sideways yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. I have been hired to help suppress the rebellion of yet another tribal leader. Apparently, this is the only job for which I am suited. I am beset. By the ironies of my life. I still just hitting that bottle. Mm hmm. You know, you, it's hard to even comprehend the PTSD these guys must well, have had after the Civil War. I mean, not sure. like any war isn't bad, but the Civil War, especially brutal, yeah. very limited battlefield um, medical mm -hmm. treatment. And you're right up close and personal, you know, beating each other with clubs after you run out of uh, musket rounds. Oh, he's having flashbacks. Divine Emperor Meiji bids you welcome. He is grateful for the assistance your country offers. We hope to accomplish the same national harmony you enjoy in your homeland. Was there national harmony? In... I don't recognize him from anything. Thank though. you very much. Bow lower. Bow lower. <laughs> <laughs> See, we remembered. Yeah, we would have done all right. I wonder. Uh, drop a comment below the um, the significance of the one white glove, and please don't say Michael Jackson, Andrew. <laughs> it's because he's bad. He's bad. He's really, really bad. I don't know my enemy. I shall not sleep until it is done. Saki. Have a good night. Saki. This is a punitive expedition, Captain. Colonel Baggy. These people had nothing to do with the raids. Oh, this is where we're going to find out. Man, uh, rifle butt. The, uh, against the Winchester's shoulder. probably too expensive to be widely used. I yeah. down the site. Now, slowly. Boom. There you go. Nathan. Does he know what he said? You have <laughs> superior firepower and a larger force. I am ordering the regiment to move against the rebel Katsumoto. You will track him down and engage him. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Did you not see that I had to basically <laughs> hold it for the guy to be able to hit it? Tell this man, if he does not shoot me, I will kill him. Load! Oh, Whoa. what the f- yeah, he's, Well, he's showing them that they're nowhere near ready. He didn't aim. Well, he didn't think he was looking for a way out there. They're not ready. The regiment leaves at 6 a.m. Whoa. Oh, shit. These guys are going to get waxed. Oh, man. You're taking farmers, giving them rifles versus, like he said, like legit warriors. Yeah. Or it's uh, all they've done for thousands of years. A weapons advantage, I think, is going to be minimal. Yeah. Are they coming in on horseback? Is that what it's I hear? Come. You'll be fine, son. They're like the most fearsome warriors they've ever heard of. You knew that was going to yep. happen. <sighs> They're too far. Oh, 
Oh, they were waiting for him oh, on the other no. side. They flanked him. Oh, they got him from behind as well. Oh, no. Well, you said he can't go somewhere on their turf. Yep. I mean, Tom's holding his own here pretty good. Yeah, he is. Oh, that's oh. our guy. That's Ken from the beginning. You think he's confused or impressed with Tom here? He's going to call it off. Oh, oh. or not. Oh. 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 Right in the neck. Oh, I thought he was yours. He's like, well, oh, that's interesting. Oh, hey! that dude. <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> oh, it's just oh, they captured no. him. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. What is your name? <laughs> Sorry, he's just in so many things, especially that we've seen lately. Yeah. He didn't flinch. Not at all. Oof. Yeah. Tom got stabbed up pretty good. Well, and right now he's probably going through detox. He don't get idea enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I don't know if he's gonna be dry for long. Yeah. Uh, just just pour it down my throat. <laughs> Don't even put it in a cup. <laughs> Told you he was in, yeah. he's probably in detox. Yeah. He's definitely coming out of uh detox or some sort of fever from infection from yeah. the wounds. Oh yeah. Maybe both. Okay. I think it's detoxing. Yeah. It, it's all I think it's all of the above. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. Well, that's why he drinks. He's got just these terrible yeah, nightmares. Probably. My name is Katsumoto. What is your name? Nathan Ogren. I'm honored to meet you. I have enjoyed this conversation in English. <laughs> I've introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. Who's a warrior in the red armor? My brother-in-law, Hirotaro. And the woman who cares for me. Oh, no. Hirotaro's yeah. wife. Her name is Taka. Oh. I killed her husband. It was a good death. Whew. Oh, my God. She's got to take care of the guy who killed her husband. Hey, they didn't go on with the boots. What's still with socks? Is that, <laughs> I, I don't think they... Those kids don't have a dad now. Yeah. To him, and he's gonna sit down and eat with him. That's crazy. It's <laughs> 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 gotta be the worst. No one they're talking about you. Uh, oh, and on top of everything that. Tom Cruise's character is done already in the amount of guilt that he has. Now mm -hmm. he has this on top of it. Oh. 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 Against this. Oh, God. This is awkward. It's the dude he took out his kid. <laughs> Swing for the fences. Yeah. Now we saw that um, Tom's character has sword training. Yeah, he was pretty good with his saber. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't going to last long for you, Tom. No. Yeah, you're severely outmatched, dude. No, but is he doing that because he feels the guilt and like he wants to get beat up? He wants the punishment, maybe? Part of it, but obviously this is like the second in command. Mm. He's going to know a thing or two about a thing or two. Let me be a part in this war. Why? I wish to learn. Read a book. I would rather have a good conversation. Why? Because we are both students of war. Read a book. As a captain, 
This is a low run. <laughs> <laughs> and who is your general? Don't you have a rebellion to lead? People in your country do not like conversation. His name is Custer. Oh, I know this name. He killed many warriors. So he was a good general. No, he got massacred because he took a single battalion against 2,000 angry Indians. How many men for Custer? 211. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah. He was a murderer who fell in love with his own legend. And his troopers died for it. This is a very good death. Well, maybe you can have one just like it someday. Why are we having these conversations? What the hell am I doing here? Bob's ready to <laughs> roll. Yeah, Bob ready to is... go. The snows will melt and the pastures will open. Hey, Captain. Gosh, those guys have really good chemistry on screen together. <laughs> I mean, it's it's yeah, really I mean, fun to is, watch. This is pretty pretty brilliant as of as of so far. Everyone is polite. Everyone smiles and bows. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle used to do this. <laughs> Dad jokes know no bounds <laughs> or time or countries. <laughs> he's a little he's a little off. Yeah. Well, they got him some new clothes. Uh, yeah, I don't think he knows dance. how to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Looks pretty comfortable, right? Yeah, a lot of movement. <laughs> I, think, I think it's uh, the pants are on backwards. It looks like it looks like those are pockets or something. <laughs> <Tap it out. laughs> Arigato. Okawari. Oh. He, he, he doesn't. Uh, what, are, what are these? Hashi. Hashi. Hi. Hashi. 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 I'm an ogre. Ogre. Alugren. Alugren. Honeywe. で、て言ってもらってください。これ以上の恥ずかしめを受けるのなら死なせてください。わあ。ジーズ。片手を手巻き休むのか。はい。拾ったのは戦で死んだ。運命だ。分かってます。死のうずのホールディテイルズ。私
<laughs> Come on, make her move, Tom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the Kramer intro with the applause. <laughs> gets to ham it up. Whoa, see those claws? Looks like we're gonna have ninjas versus samurais. Whoa! Oh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh. Oh. oh this. Well, he's got to avenge his wife and kid's death from Sub-Zero. That's what happened to Mortal Kombat, son. <laughs> it's Sub-Zero. That's what it is. Ooh. Yeah, these guys Ooh. don't have a chance against Katsumoto. Well, it looks like they got him in the across the eye. Oh, the elbow <laughs> break! Oh, it's the tip of the sword. Oh, it's his dad's sword. Oh shit! No, not the kid. Not the kid. Oh. Ooh. Oh, save the kid. Yeah. Oh, ooh. No. Nice. Okay, I was like, there's that guy that was right behind him. Oh, God. This is a man. Incredible. This is intense. Oof. And Tom learned to use a sword. Holy shit. Oh, there's oh, Bob, Bob going, going after it. Yeah, see, like, I think right there uh, around his eye, I yeah. think he kind of got clipped. Holy shit. That was crazy. What? Perfect blossom is a rare thing. You could spend your life looking for one, and it would not be a wasted life. I'm writing a poem about a dream I had. <laughs> I'm having trouble finishing the poem. Can you suggest a last line? Every soldier has nightmares. Only one who is ashamed of what he has done. Oh, man. Yeah. He has to tell him about. You have seen many things, but sometimes you wish for it. Is this not so? That is correct. It happens to men who have seen what we have seen. I come to this place of my ancestors. Life in every breath, every cup of tea. The Emperor has granted a safe passage to Tokyo. We leave tomorrow. When I took this, you were my enemy. Wow. I mean, I guess they had battles together, you know, so. saved each other's life a couple of times. Yeah, that's all she, it takes. She even saved Tom's life when she took yeah. that one dude out. Oh, he's got the old garb on. Oh, here they come. People are clearly very afraid of them. Yeah, I mean, they're absolute legends, you know. <clears throat> oh, there's a guy that wants him out, too. Yep. His right-hand man. And the man they hired to help defeat him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no. Now they got cannons. They started import so it's been what six six months or so yeah they yep. started importing weapons from the u.s yep All good. All good. oh gatling oh, guns the gatling guns oh dude it's over cannons and gatling guns oh there's the guy that ran yeah <laughs> Wow, that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, that's the 
I'm eager to know how many samurai have joined Katsumoto. I'm afraid I don't know. Was he fortified his position? Has he acquired firearms? Come, man, tell us what you saw. As you said, Kurt, they're savages with bows and arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Katsumoto is an extraordinary man, is he not? He's a tribal leader. I've known many of them. But none who are samurai. Their ways have great appeal. Either I will stop him at the council today, or you will lead my army against him. Mr. Mora, my contract with you was to train your army. Then we will make that? a new contract, one that will recognize the extraordinary contribution you have made to the emperor. Do we understand each other? He's saying that like you don't have a choice. Yeah, pretty much. So is your answer yes or yes? <laughs> the diplomatic community is a boss. A Moor has passed laws against the samurai. Mr. Graham, I need a drink. Wait, oh, what? No, 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 I thought no. you quit. I can't start. Captain Ogre, what is it? What is it? What does that uh, remind Tom him of? See, yeah, Nathan's seen that mm -hmm. before. <laughs> Ironically, you know, the crazy thing about this is it's his own countrymen that are against him. This isn't, it's not the, you know, white people versus Indians like we saw in the United States. It's Japanese versus Japanese. Oh. Even he's like, he doesn't Yeah, he just wanted to be put on the spot. Oh, free your mind. Oh, he left his gun. Yeah. Yeah, he was just taking the rounds out of it back in his room. Oh, got him. I just got him across the face, though. I didn't get it. Oh, there, that was a good one. Slice. Oh, oh man. man. Oh. oh. Who are these dudes that are attacking Tom, though? They're from the... They were told by what's his face to follow him if he went back to yeah. Katsumoto. Uh, I suppose, oh. yeah. I just didn't expect him to be using samurai swords. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, who's that that has the camera? That has the camera. Yeah. Is that our man? I thought you would return to America. I decided to stay, see if I could convince you to escape. I do like to do that. <laughs> Oh, I knew it! Yes, I knew it! Yes. Hell he yeah. had that hat way down. Yeah. Perhaps you would have to take pictures of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Here, is this yours? <laughs> they can't yeah, they're going to have a tough yet. time. No. Yeah, those six months they still couldn't aim. Yeah, but it looks like they have bolt actions now. Yeah, they got yeah. bolt action. Oh! Oh! oh wow. the bow and arrows from the quote unquote savages. Is that Bob? It could be. Oh, no. Come on, Tom. Is that Bob? Oh, yeah. It's got to be Bob. It's got to be Bob. What about Bob? Yeah, you gotta get moving. God. You don't leave your kid there. I don't care that they're alive. You take them with yep. you. Yeah. Uh... Mm. 
Well, they know right away it's a lot smaller group coming back mm. than, than what left. Yeah. Well, she'll probably see her nephew who's not back. Maybe he was too. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I just don't see a way no. out of this. I mean, it's like you're running uh, towards an accident. You just yeah. can't stop. You know it's coming. Look, if they've got the howitzers and the Gatlin guns. I mean, it's a wrap. Yeah. There was once a battle at a place called Thermopylae. <gasps> the 300. 300 yeah. brave Greeks. Oh, ah, no. A million men. A million, you wonder. Stand this number. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have in your mind? Take away the advantage of their guns. You're overconfident when you use that. Move them close. Get them into a bottleneck. You believe a man can't change his destiny. Anger man does what he can until his destiny is revealed. God, how do you get him in close enough? Yeah, sword He's battle. Use some kind of natural bottleneck or something. Oh, he, he knows the dates now. Yeah. Oh, is she going to give him the armor? Oh, no way. Yeah. There's. Yeah, she's going to give oh, him her husband's holy armor. Shit. Like, yeah, what do you say the whole time she's doing this mm -hmm. for you? No. Uh, really, see, I didn't. Well, uh, I didn't. I didn't see that coming. I didn't I either. They were going to. Yeah. Well, keep no, it. they're not. Look at the, it was just a. Yeah. Pick. That's not the kind of relationship they should have. What a crazy battle. Like you said, for a thousand years, they've been defending the country. And now it's the emperor's army with all this modern stuff they're going yeah. against. So who are, Being like, yeah, who you're, are they you're fighting? Mm -hmm. Who are you they know? fighting? The old ride out to the middle. Yep. To negotiate. Was this like oh, the managers I... of baseball giving out their player cards? or? God. <laughs> 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 the Imperial Army of Japan demands your surrender. If you and your fellows lay down your arms, you will not be harmed. This is not possible, as Mr. Omlan knows. You ride against us, and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. Oh, oh, he wants shit. that guy yep. real bad. Well, he said earlier, I remember right in the beginning of the movie, he said, kill you, kill for, you free. for free. Well, yeah. Yawn. <laughs> oh, oh yep. shit. Oh, they got the the oil soaked uh, balls they had. Those are gonna start hitting their troops though. Yep. Yeah. They've never had to deal with that before. No. What is that to smoke them out? It must be to give them cover, maybe. That's well, that's how they do the surprise on Tom and his crew. Yeah. They came in with smoke. Even the mighty samurai cannot stand up to the howitzers. Even they the attack. I'd advise sending in skirmishers first. Nonsense! Full attack! Ah, it's a trap. They're coming. Yeah, look how wedged in they are there. Mm hmm So he's saying he wanted. Wait for the volley. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, trapped him in. Yep. Oh, shit. What on earth? What is happening? Well, it's not, not good for you. Yeah, look at them. They're, they're giving up. They're retreating. Mm. Oh, in the head. Wow. That's a lot of numbers. Nice. Oh, the guys on horses. Nice. God, it'll be hard for those guys on horses to just sit back and wait. Get over here. 
Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. You know, Look at that. And I got to believe that's all real choreography. I don't think any of that was CGI, I don't think. I mean, that's the infancy. You know? If it is. Oh. 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 Son of a bitch thinks he can win. Oh. No. Oh, right through the stomach. Boy, too. that was close, too. Yeah, he's a, he's he's he, a man's he, man. He can take a shot for sure. Wow. It'll make two more regiments of yourself. I should have died so many times before. It was not your time. What are they what are they gonna do now? I guess you gotta regroup and move to a you almost gotta move to a different place. Yeah. You get footing and there's Yeah, someplace not as open. This is madness. He's going to attack? Yes. He's defeated. He must accept his shame. Oh, yeah. they're not even waiting around. They're going on the offensive. Uh, okay. Yeah. They're sending okay. guys out. Yep, he went out to meet him. Okay. Howitzers. Oof. Holy shit. Jeez, what a visual. Oh. Oh, oh we got him. We got him. He got him. Yeah. It's like he said he was gonna. They're just gonna charge a mountain and try to get to all the weaponry up there. This is it. Oh, no. 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 Well, they don't even know how to get these things loaded. Jeez. Well, you can tell yep. he's Well yeah, I mean it's like their greatest warriors, you know, it's their their whole history. They're just wiping it out. You have your honor again. Let me that with mine. Are you ready? I will miss our conversations. <laughs> oh. Oh, and there's the blossoms in the back. Mm hmm. So that'll be the last thing yep. he sees. Perfect. They are perfect. The Japanese soldiers paying their respects. Yeah. Oh, they put the flags down. On behalf of the United States of America, the signing of this treaty will usher in an era of unprecedented prosperity. Blue <gasps> What? what? He made it? He, I can't believe he made it. He's bringing him his sword. This is Katsumoto's sword. He would have wanted you to have it. Let the strength of the samurai be with you always. He hoped with his last breath that you would remember the ancestors who held this sword and what they died for. Here, come. 
Yeah. It looks like he took off. He had one glove on. Yeah. He took that Must one be, off. He's like too pure to touch anything or whatever. Yeah, that that's a good point. You were with him at the end? Mm -hmm. I, this man fought against you. If you believe me to be your enemy, command me, and I will gladly take my life. I have dreamed of a unified Japan. We have railroads and cannon, western clothing. We cannot forget who we are. I have concluded that your treaty is not in the best interest of my people. It's an outrage. Is he gonna make him do it? Oh my god, no. with Kono He can't he do it. He doesn't he doesn't want he it. He can't do it. He doesn't have it in him. Tell me how he died. I will tell you how he lived. Hmm. And so the days of the samurai had ended. As for the American captain, no one knows what became of him. Others, that he returned to his own country. But I like to think he may have at last found some small measure of peace that we all seek and few of us ever find. Well, they lost all their warriors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of them. She can't believe he's back. Mm. Oh, would you? <laughs> I mean, what a great ending. All so, right. Ken Watanabe. Yep. All right, guys. Oh. There it was. What wow. an absolute powerhouse of a masterpiece that was. My goodness. You know, Tom Cruise, I don't think he ever misses. Maybe he's got like one dud in his whole career. Maybe. <laughs> But all the right moves. This guy just hits on everything. And huge shout out to uh, to Ken um, Watanbe. I think I'm saying that correct. the The chemistry that those two had on screen was just incredible. And this man, this movie was just outstanding. I don't know. Um, you know, I know we've were kind of commenting during some of the scenes or whatever, trying to figure out what was going on and maybe getting a couple things wrong here and there, but it was a lot of fun to really speculate. And I mean, so much to, to take in on this, you know, Tom Cruise's Cruise's character, uh, Nathan, just a real, you know, troubled soul, a soldier who, you know, not happy with what he did, obviously not happy with the orders he's been given his whole life, tried to you know, drink himself away from it and then finds a, a redemption story in, in Japan of all places. I think we all kind of laughed a little bit and had some fun with the fact that Tom Cruise was yeah. going to be the last samurai. We're like, what? How does oh, that yeah. work? But, you know, we should have known better than to than to speculate it was going to be anything but absolute perfection. So this movie just hit on so many levels. I feel like I could just watch it again right now. I could just hit replay and... <laughs> do it all over again definitely I mean, definitely was, did not feel like yeah, how it long was, it was yeah. it was that good this is another one that i'm i'm gonna own for sure and uh, again the acting was incredible the battle scenes were so outstanding to see the clash of new and old you know horses and swords and bows and arrows versus howitzers and gatling guns and modern rifles it was just incredible and the the level of of respect and, and history and things like that that was shown uh with everybody involved really was was just awesome just i don't know it's it's been a while since i've seen something like this it was really good guys i really enjoyed it i hope you all enjoyed it as much as i did but for the last samurai with tom Cruise and and ken uh with tom b i don't know how you go anything less than five out of five answers for me just incredible just incredible huh well let me tell you uh no this was really fantastically done just the set designs the battles everything that from the effects the I mean, the emotion the, the emotion just you know how he has to go to this village as quote unquote a prisoner to start but like and then living with a family that you know he slayed their their father their their husband and then you know earning their respect and becoming a warrior with them and just the acting was top-notch by Tom Cruise. Obviously, 
Hiroki Sanada. That is, uh, that's our main man. That was Scorpion. He was in uh, a bunch of other movies. Yeah. He was great. He was the he number was, one. He was the right hand man of your boy Ken. Obviously, we got to see our good old friend from uh, Timothy Spall from good old Harry Potter that's as right. Pettigrew. That was a nice. He surprise. did a, It was it was a lovely surprise because we because you know he was obviously kind of a comedic like a mouse thing and Potter, but in here very you know he had a few jokes but he was definitely serious especially at the end when he's like what i like to think happened and everything like that mm -hmm. but everything was amazing um the battle scenes were just top notch you could tell they put everything they had into it i mean edward zwick was the director you could tell he just made sure that he just squeezed everything out of every actor to get the best possible picture that he could so without that i can't argue quinn i gotta go with five as well right this movie was absolutely incredible and i mean just next level stunning and i think this story is a lot a lot deeper than i had anticipated it to be or anyone would have anticipated it to be um now they could have told this story uh on the, the, the samurai and an American soldier coming to Japan and trying to train the soldiers. But they made a very, very clear point of continually going back to um, Nathan's experience, uh, in, not in the Civil War, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I think that's very important to notice. He's a, a Civil War era soldier. But they didn't show scenes from him in the Civil War. Yeah, they showed so scenes from him as, um, yeah, like as yeah, yeah, so so for those of you who aren't like super up on your history, the Civil War, obviously the the mid 1860s. Now, as the the, the country moved west, um, there was just endless um, conflict between the, uh, the the people of the, the Eastern United States moving west and the Native Americans, and these horrific battles took place. Um, the expansion of the railroad system. Uh, West caused all sorts of problems cutting through um, Native American land and th these battles ensued and uh, and they were brutal um, and look we see it in all sorts of um, all sorts of historical television shows and movies this is an incredibly be incredibly well documented thing but I think it's very important that they showed that and I think it tells a lot about the story and <clears throat> so there's a saying, be on the right side of history. Do you want to be on the right side of history? And before um, Nathan made his way to Japan and before he joined up with the Samurais, I think it was very clear that he was not on the right side of history. Uh, now, an argument can be made, a, a, a bad argument can be made, that um, the expansion west and the conflict with the Native Americans was over land and things like that, and that was natural to happen anytime. Look, throughout history, when somebody wants land and somebody else owns it or occupies it, a battle ensues. And they also made a very clear point in this movie to show that the conflicts, uh, or at least the ones that weighed heavily on Nathan, were not ones that needed to be had. You know, they, they, they showed clear. You know, th these people weren't part of the raid. They weren't part of the raid. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, he lived a life of, of, of regret and guilt, and he was having his nightmares and drinking himself into an oblivion. And it was getting captured, and it was training with the samurai, and it was learning a different way of life that, um, that really helped him straighten out and, uh, and, and, and learn, to, learn to live with himself. And I feel like there's a really interesting story here I think they kind of compare the United States and Native Americans to Japan. And an, an interesting difference that we see here is the Japanese, generally speaking, when you go far back in their history, it's still Japanese. Mm -hmm. And so when they talk yeah. about their history, when you have the samurai talking about our ancestors for a thousand years defended this land, that would be what the Native Americans were saying in America, but it's such a different story. And I, and I hope that makes sense. You have Japanese warriors who say, my ancestors have lived here for a thousand years. Well, in the United States, um, you know, the, the European settlers were only there for a, a few hundred years before they really start expanding west. 
And, um, you know, at the time, the Native Americans were the ones that were here for a thousand years. And they were defending their, their honor and their land and their way of life. So everything that we saw happening with the samurai was essentially the same thing that was happening with the Native Americans just on the other side of the globe. It was literally... I don't want to say literally, that's, that's a, a, a term that gets overused, but it was essentially the same thing. In 1876, you still had people moving out west. Mm -hmm. Now it was it was more on uh, on the tail end of that, but it was still happening. Um, but it's, it's the same story. You had Native Americans living in the United States for thousands of years, and the European settlers, they wanted their modern ways, they wanted their modern comforts, they wanted all these things and the Native Americans were living a much simpler life in harmony with um, with each other and with nature. Now let's, if, if we're gonna talk about history, we do have to recognize- There was a lot yeah. of battles and a there lot was, of brutality. There was a lot, and, and this is one thing that's yeah. important to recognize, yeah. and I'm not by any means trying to um, downplay um, you know, Native American history. There was a lot of fighting within the Native Americans, mm -hmm. so, a lot is said about um, European settlers moving west and taking Native American land. Look, for, for thousands of years before European settlers came here, there was a ton of battles between Native Americans. So fighting for land uh, wasn't necessarily something new, but the big difference is, and it's important that we recognize this, is the big difference is, is that those prior battles with the Native Americans were over land and, and potentially over resources, but they weren't over forcing somebody to change their way of life. And that is the big difference. And that's what we saw in Japan with yeah. the samurai. It wasn't just uh, you know, a battle for land or, or, or honor. It was uh, a, a shift. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a, country a shift, in, history, a shift in history. Yeah. And their way of life is, is yep. gone. And now, much like, um, you know, of course, there's still, uh, you know, Native American ways of life here in the United States, but certainly nothing like it was a few hundred years ago. And the same goes for Japan. And I, I can't speak too much on the history of Japan, um, but uh, I don't think you have to dive too deep into Japanese history to know that the samurai are still very honored and, and very revered. Um, but so I think this movie did a great job of, uh, in what I thought a not very subtle way of comparing um, what was happening with the Native Americans here in the United States to um, the, the samurais in, uh, in Japan. And they did this movie just f phenomenal. I mean, the story was great. The acting, you know, and I, I said it when we started, I'm like, eh, I'm not so sure about this, The Last Samurai, it's Tom Cruise, it's a white guy, you know. <laughs> But the, the cast was phenomenal, the acting was phenomenal, the story was phenomenal, just the emotions that it brought out, the way they told the story, yep. um, learning about some of the, the Japanese you know, culture, uh, you know, the, the glory and the honor and dying on the battlefield. And um, it, it's just, it was such, a, such an amazing story. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around just how good this was. And it's another one where Again, flipping through channels. Oh, it's Tom Cruise as a samurai. Like, yeah, it's not really not really my thing. Yeah. Although he's mostly had pretty pretty stunning roles, but um, this this movie was absolutely incredible for me. I thought it was a lot of great lessons. Um, I loved at the end how the emperor um, came finally, to his senses. Yeah, he finally stood up and realized that his his inaction caused all this. Um, and look, the, the reality is uh, the modern weaponry and, and, and modern um, military technology at some point was going to make the samurai's defensive, you know, role for the country not needed. Okay, so that was going to happen, um, but it didn't need to end in like this big like yeah, that battle, be, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you could have said, hey. Like, we respect the samurai. We know this is your way of life. Um, from a military standpoint, we're shifting in a different direction. Yeah. But this, the, the rebellion, the battle, uh, it didn't need to play out like this. And I think the, the emperor realized at the end what he had done, of course, honored um, Tom Cruise's character and uh, dismissed his, uh, his, uh, uh, 
his officer yeah. or official who was giving him advice, obviously very selfish advice. So the movie had a it had a, a sad ending, but at the same time, one that did justice to the samurai. And I thought, like I said, I thought this movie was, was phenomenal. It told the story of a man being on the wrong side of history and very much choosing, choosing. Because let's not forget, when he left in the spring, they all thought he was going to go home back to America. He chose mm -hmm. to stay. Yep. And he chose to be and on fight. the right side of yep. history. And after everything is said and done, that's where we want to be is on the right side of history. And you want your actions to be remembered um, in a positive light, um, which has clearly weren't um, before before joining up with the samurai. So I'm going to go along, if I can get my board up here, with, um, like with we, Mason Quinn. Like we didn't know what your score was going to be. Right. I think this this is a this is an easy five for yeah. me. I thought this movie was absolutely phenomenal. Um, once again, this is, this is broken record stuff, but to the people on Patreon and YouTube who had recommended that we watch this, thank you guys so much. Like I said, I can't. Now it's like, and I, I know I've said this before, but I'm like, how did I like flip through the channels and, miss, and, miss and, and, and well miss maybe this. it's maybe it's because if you you jump into it an hour into it you might be lost and be like oh what's going on I get, I, so know, it's, it's, maybe it's one of those you need to see it from the beginning at least the first time and then after that obviously anytime you go into it like oh, i remember this part hey hey, yeah. hey, hey watch here, this here part and this yeah, is here. one that i would you know i was really drawn in it's, it's funny some people have mentioned like this is the oak just really bored with this movie or is he Sleeping? falling asleep or what's going on with him? Uh, sometimes, he's watching intense. Sometimes I get so like yeah. drawn in and I was so drawn into this movie. I feel like I, I, I don't feel like there's much that I missed with this movie because I was just yeah. like laser focused. But this is one that uh, I would say probably within the next few days, I'm like, I got to go back and watch yeah. this again. One, I want to I want to relive this. Mm -hmm. um, and two, I just I just want to see if there's anything I missed, something that I didn't catch because I think this movie is absolutely worth a second, the third, a tenth watch. This is this is a, an amazing movie and of, and of course, uh, that's what that's what Tom Cruise does. <laughs> that's right. You know, and it's it was cool because it was one of those where I I almost kind of forgot I was with all of you and you guys doing a reaction cuz I was so sucked into what's going on that I you know, was almost like lost in it for a minute, you know, and it was really cool. And the other thing that I liked that was very classy was I like how they didn't do a traditional Hollywood romance where the girl ends up falling for Tom and we have that scene because like that, that just didn't fit here, right? That wasn't appropriate, I didn't think. I liked the scene they had where she was helping him put the armor on and that sort of thing and gave him kind of the goodbye. But I liked how it was kept that way and they, they didn't need to go any further. It was, I mean, it was, was it was implied. And then you could you could sense that throughout the movie, and it was also implied at the end that he came back for her and for her boys. But I agree with you 100. percent You didn't need the cliche like falling in love with, and that you know the the scene you know the night before battle with the person that you know you never uh, expected to be with. This whole movie was just was just class from yeah. start to finish. Perfect. Yeah, they made sure they didn't overindulge in that. So just like we're about to overindulge in some more of these amazing movies that you keep telling us. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn, and I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.